Hey guys, uh, today's review is of uh, uh, another multi-tool from Ganzo and that's the Ganzo 3028 um, so I had reviewed another multi-tool a few months back from Ganzo, the G302B uh, which was a great multi-tool but also at regular price costs about like forty dollars I would say uh, this is uh, a low an entry level multi tool and you only cost me something like thirteen or fourteen dollars on Gearbest. So why are all the tools already open? Uh, answer is simple is because basically when you get the tool it's almost impossible to open uh, to to open the tools by hand. I had to pry them open with some some kind of screwdriver and actually if you see I kind of cut myself while doing that and uh, I had to put a band-aid, I had to ask my son from one of his Hulk band-aids. <laughs> um, so, here it is. This tool is, is low cost. 13 14 dollars. You can't expect the moon out of a tool like this, right? So, yes, the tools cannot be opened by hand. Can it be fixed? Probably. Uh, I've only had it a few days and I haven't really had time to play with it, but I'm pretty sure adding some good lubrication here where the, the where the tool spins around trying to maybe loosen those if they can I'm pretty sure they can be loosened up to, to try to, to get that fixed um, basically it's a $13 tool that you know once you put a little bit of time and effort into it can be much more valuable than that uh, now for the tools themselves you get a file a knife, a serrated blade, a can opener slash a bottle opener, an awl, a small flat screwdriver, a large flat screwdriver. You get the bits here that you insert in this part here. You can check out my other review of the G302B in order to check that out. And uh, a soft pouch, not a, a high quality. Uh, hard uh, sheath like on the G30B but a uh, soft one which I mean it's fine it's it's more than adequate for the the price of, of this multi-tool so you have a, a small pocket here for the bits and a larger one for the tool itself now uh, so if I close the tools hopefully I won't be cutting myself again so you can see right it's just <laughs> you need to put some force just to be able to close them okay Close this one here, close this. Okay, so uh, obviously the tools are non lockable on, on a budget uh, multi tool like this. The pliers are surprisingly quite beefy and, and, and quite big for a tool given this price, so I'm actually happy with the pliers. Um, and you know, spring loaded. So now for size comparison. It's about the same size as the G302 that I had reviewed before. Yeah, I can see it's, it's about the same size too. Uh, in terms of weight, yeah, no, this one is heavier definitely, but you know, here you guys, here, here you guys have it. So, am I happy with it? Other than the fact that I cut myself? Yes. Is it ready to use out of the box? No. Uh, you'll need some work. Uh, in order to you know get these these tools to to come out easier, uh, is it worth the price tag? Def definitely. Uh, I mean, it's pretty hard to to find uh, like any kind of multi tool at least in North America for fifteen twenty dollars. Let's say between fifteen and twenty, with this build quality, with the pouch and the extra bits and the the whatnot. So. Yes, I'm happy with it. This one will, you know, be staying like either in my car or, you know, on the, in my dirt bike or something like that just for emergency once I get the thing stored as, as straightened out. So, here you guys go. Here's the review. Genzo G3028. Bye.